G'day, my name is Lockie from Tent World in Fern Tree Gully, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the simplest and easiest ways to set up a tarp using an A-frame pitch. A couple of great things about this pitch, it's super versatile. You can use the setup we've got at the moment. I'm just using a 2.3 by 3.5 meter tarp, two awning poles and six guy ropes. That's really all you need. A setup like that will work really well while you're hiking. A lot of ultralight hikers will use a setup like this using an ultralight hiking tarp, but it can also be expanded using a larger tarp. I'll chat about some of the ways you can add more stability if you do want to create a larger A-frame setup. The other great thing about this pitch is that it's super easy to set up and it can be set up with just one person. So we'll lay out the tarp and show you how to set it up. All right, so we've got our tarp laid out on the ground and we've tied guy ropes to the four corners of the tarp. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is peg out the two far end guy ropes at 45 degree angles on either side of what's gonna become the ridge line of the tent. The second step after that is to go in with your first awning pole into the middle of the opposite side. This tarp has handy D-rings, but some will have eyelets and we've already pegged this one down, but you wanna peg it down tight enough just to keep the pole upright. It doesn't need to be any tighter than that at the moment, because we still need a little bit of slack to go in with the pole at the other side of the A-frame. All right, now we've got the first pole of the A-frame up. It's time to go in with the second pole. Again, we've pre-pegged out this guy rope. That makes life a little bit easier. But using the same process, Simply set up the pole, and now you can see we've got that nice ridge line across the top of our A-frame, which is gonna keep rain from pooling on top of the tarp. This is why you don't have the tarp laid out flat. At this point, you wanna pull this guy rope nice and tight, so you've got an extremely tight ridge across the top of your A-frame. That'll prevent water from pooling, and it'll give the whole frame a bit of stability. How tight you can pull these guy ropes will depend a little bit on the tarp that you've got, how tight you can pull them before you potentially put your tarp in danger of being damaged, but it's probably a lot tighter than you think. And the final step, you wanna peg out the remaining two guy ropes. Try to peg them out so that they're at the same angle as the two first guy ropes you pegged out. So 45 degrees from the corner of the tent. Then you want to walk around and tighten all six of the guy ropes until you can't tighten them anymore. Like I said, how tight you can get them will depend on the tarp you're using. We're using quite a strong tarp so I can get these very tight. But like I said, you can probably get them tighter than you think. And that is the easiest and simplest way to set up a tarp using an A-frame pitch. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's pretty windy in Fern Tree Gully today and I had no problem setting this one up entirely by myself. You don't need two or three people to set up a tarp. There are some things you can do to a tarp setup like this if you want to expand it to give it added structural stability. We do sell also awning ridge poles that you can run across the top of the ridge of the A-frame. You can also add an extra four awning poles to the corners to give it even more stability. And of course, you can add a few more guy ropes on either side of the A-frame. All those things will allow you to increase the size of your A-frame without sacrificing any structural stability. You can get this three or four times easier, really simple, still using the same basic setup. This is a setup that's also used by a lot of ultralight hikers who wanna not even take a tent, maybe just take a tarp with them and a bug net at night. If you did wanna set this up as a hiker, you probably wanna set it up quite a bit lower to the ground. We've got it pretty high off the ground right now, but you'd wanna set it up so that the sides are almost touching the ground. You may also wanna use your trekking poles instead of awning poles in the center here. Um, you probably would use a lighter tarp as well, something like Sil Nylon or Sil Poly or uh, DCF is another pretty popular option, but that's one of the benefits of a tarp setup like this. It's very versatile. You can use it in a lot of different settings um, and it's super easy to set up for yourself. We've used products just from Tent World today. Um, if you wanna see any of these products, feel free to come into any of our stores across Australia or visit us online at tentworld.com.au.